Okay, today we're going to have a look at a Gallmeyer and Livingston uh, surface grinder. This is a uh, 8 by 24 inch grinder. Uh, this is a three axis automatic. The infeed mechanism is all built into the hand wheel here. It can also be very finely turned by hand. Um, it has an automatic down feed that when it gets to the zero mark on there, it will automatically uh, go into a spark out and do a certain amount of empty passes without feeding down any further. And then um, the machine will come to a stop and this will back off a little bit and uh, the whole machine, I believe, shuts down. Uh, the hydraulics is running right now, the spindle is running. So you have your table here, you can adjust these dogs uh, to increase that stroke. You also have a, um, a cross feed, where now we're moving our saddle in and out. The amount of that step is adjusted by opening up this valve here, it gives you a larger step. Over here on the bottom on the side is a couple of sliding dogs that you adjust uh, to set this uh, stroke of the saddle going in and out. I can change the direction by pushing in on the knob. The operator can make it uh, change its direction before it makes the switch. When you have this green light on here, that means you're going to use the automatic down feed. Uh, this potentiometer here is an adjust adjustment that has uh, a fine uh, increment as fine as one tenth up to about one thousandth of an inch for the vertical increment each time. All right, so I'm going to stop the the table for a minute. I can also just move the table in and out. Now that's reversing because of how I have it set at the side there. Okay, so we just want to go back and forth. Now if I want to start to have a down feed, I'm going to bring this around or down a little bit so that, well, so this also has a, a rapid down as well as a rapid up. So we're going to bring this around here and get the zero somewhat close so we don't have to wait too long. Okay, so if I start, this is in the plunge grinding mode now. You have a selector switch here, plunge and surface. So for the plunge, we just want to go back and forth. Each time this lever uh, is, is changed, it's making an electrical switch up below it that signals uh, this to feed. So when we start to feed, each time you see this turning here. Now it got to zero, and it sparked out and shut off the machine. So that's the plunge grinding cycle. If we wanted to put it in surface grinding, um, take that off of zero, start the grinder up, spindle, hydraulics. Now I flip this on so I have my saddle. Now it's not looking for this, but for the saddle reversal to tell the thing to feed. So when the saddle reverses, We'll start to feed. There you go. So now it fed and now it's going back the other way. And I can certainly decrease that amount of feed to something that you could actually grind with. Like you just saw then. This is a really well built grinder. This is a Galmeyer and Livingston or Grand Rapids they call them. It has an above over the wheel dresser that's very smooth. Um, not sure how it's made, but it really feels great. You got a micrometer adjustment on the top there, and you just do that by hand. Um, you have a walker chuck and a walker chuck control with, with your full automatic plus your variable hold uh, and your, your uh, release uh, mechanism here when you want to release the part. That's your variable, and that there would be your the release. It comes on and it, it comes off as it demags. You've got a coolant sink and a coolant pump on the side that plugs in. Everything drains down through some channels here and into the tank. Electrics are mounted on the side and hydraulics are mounted in the base. Has automatic lubrication of the ways. Um, so that's it. That's the Grand Rapids uh, Model 360, by the way. Uh, Thank you very much.